Clearport, which is Port Clearport. So at the moment we're navigating for the first time inside the Vanua Balavu Reef. The reef itself was last surveyed officially in the uh, 1880s. Canterbury draws twice as much water as any of the other ships that come in here. As a result of that, obviously, it's quite tense Thanks. on the bridge. It's getting set to start with the wind surf. Yep. It's in five degrees left to the so. the last three days, the Navy's Rapid Seven Environmental and Assessment so team so provided us with sounding data. So what we've done is overlaid the sounding data they've given us onto the old chart. And so now we're doing precision navigation coming into the harbour. It does carry some inherent dangers, so it, it's challenging. You know, at the moment, everything's going pretty well. It's basically um, the high levels of training that we train to um, pay off because we're actually using it in an operational context to get in, so we can deliver aid to um, the people of uh, Vanua Balava. Come left one eight zero. Canterbury is now at anchor in the uh, Vanua Balavu lagoon. Vanua Balavu is the largest of the Northern Lao group. It's sort of the capital island within that chain. It's surrounded by a dozen or so smaller islands. It's quite isolated. It's the furthest of the Fijian islands away from the, the main centres. There's a number of islands that Canterbury is going to be servicing and providing support through the land forces to all of them, focusing initially on Vanua Balavu because it's the main population base. Uh, but we do intend to get the helicopters and all the sea boats out to look at some of the outlying islands. And that's to get uh, not only the Army engineers but also the New Zealand Medical Assessment Team and the Urban Search and Rescue Guys from the Fire Service out to just have a look around you know, and make sure that all the needs of all of the small outlying areas are met. At this stage the length of deployment is unknown. Most buildings have been damaged either totally or in some way. So it could be in for the long haul. Uh, we'll just keep doing our job day after day until such time as we're told that we've done enough.